let's take a look at a trigonometric function question from Nan Chao Hai. We are given that sine theta equal to c and theta is between 90 to 180. So I'm first going to circle where the quadrant is. We have 90 to 180. So this will be 0, 90, 180. So we are in quadrant number 2. So I'll follow by drawing a triangle in quadrant 2. This is my reference angle here. So I'm going to change this c to a fraction. So I'm going to write as c over 1. So that I can apply as OH and put C at opposite side and 1 as hypotenuse. So I'm going to look at this one here. Opposite, I'm going to place as C, hypotenuse as 1. So I can calculate this side using Pythagoras. So I have square root of 1 square minus C square here. And I'm going to place it in this diagram. Now let's take a look at this dot here. You're going to be very careful because this length here, you're going to the left. So this should take a negative sign. And if you keep moving this dot left, and the next here will be up. So this is positive, so I'll leave this alone. So we have a diagram in quadrant number two. Now let's take a look at the question. We need to express sine 2 theta in terms of c and cos theta plus 30 in terms of c. Now take note that this one is something you can refer to in the formula page. Let's take a look at this two here. I have boxed out that tool that you can use. So part one, we're going to use double angle formula and part two, we're going to use the angle difference formula. And just be careful because for cos version, you need to take an opposite sign. Okay, now let's go back to this question here. We'll do one by one. We have part one. I'm going to do sine two theta. So I'm going to apply the formula, that's going to be 2 sine theta cos theta. And sine theta, I'll have this C value, I'm just going to write down. How about this cos theta here? So this cos theta here, we're going to apply CAH. I'm going to look at adjacent and hypotenuse from the diagram. So for this angle here, adjacent is this one, hypotenuse is this one. So I'm going to take this, divide by 1, so I'm not going to write 1 as well. So this one here. I'm just going to write negative square root 1 minus c square. And to simplify this one here, I have negative 2c square root of 1 minus c square as my answer for part 1. And next, let's take a look at part 2. We have cos theta plus 30 degree. And making use of the formula that I have flashed it just now, I'm going to take cos theta cos 30 and opposite of this sign is minus sine theta and sine 30 degree. Now let's just show you the formula again. So what I did here is part 1, we are using double angle formula. Part 2, we are using angle difference formula. Okay, now let's go back. Let's continue over here. I have already gotten cos theta just now from here, so which is this one here. Let me write back. And we need to know the value of cos 30. So cos 30 is going to be square root 3 over 2. You can memorize it or you can do a calculator trick. So next, let's follow by sine theta value, which is this C here. And sine 30 is half. And this one, you can also click calculator for this value here. Now, let's do some simplification. So, we're going to write this square root and this square root, meaning I can multiply these two together. So, notice they are both square root. So, I'm going to write negative at the center. And I'm going to write denominator as 2. And for numerator, I'm going to multiply the 3 into here. So, I have 3 minus 3c squared. So I follow by negative at the center and C multiplied to the numerator, I have C over 2. And that's my answer for part 2.